Ah, the Netherlands. Home to the most reliable and wonderful railway networks in the world, yet is up there as one of the weirdest owing to the stock they use. You may instantly think I'm talking about the Kaplopper. However, I'm instead referring to the Verm, the Dutch double-decker train which is a very bizarre shape. These trains form the backbone of the Dutch intercity rail network, which will be the subject of our journey today between Utrecht and Amsterdam. So join me now as we get this show on the rails. This is Utrecht Central, where today's journey begins. The station dates back to 1843, and whilst the entrance looks like it's for the station, it's actually the entrance to the Hoek Kateren, Europe's largest enclosed shopping centre, which opened in 1973 following the demolition of the station building, and has resulted in Utrecht Central never really having a real entrance since then. A major transport hub, this station is the largest and busiest in the Netherlands despite only serving the fourth largest city in Holland. Normal passenger traffic sees Utrecht Central serve around 273,000 passengers a year, which is principally due to Utrecht being located right in the heart of the country. And naturally, being the largest transport hub in the country, there are fantastic onward connections owing to the integration of two bus stations, two tram stops, three bicycle parkings, and the railway station itself containing 16 platforms. To add more fire to the flame, the bicycle parking station to the east of the station is the largest in the world, which I think is a rather fitting title for the Netherlands. I did stumble across this sculpture of a steam locomotive, however I actually have not been able to find out what it is or what its significance is. If you do know, please do let me know in the comments below. For now however, it's time for us to enter the barriers and make our way to the platform. My ticket is located on the back of my phone case, which I just tap on the reader like so, and voila! As I mentioned previously, the Hoch Kateren shopping centre is located within here, which provides plenty of essential and non-essential shops to help you continue on your onward journey. To be honest, this station reminds me a lot of Birmingham New Street back home in the UK after its 2015-16 refurbishment, which is fairly similar to Utrecht, which was also refurbished around the same time period. I honestly have to say though, this is far more impressive. Utrecht's principal operator is the Dutch state rail operator, NS, who many of you may know from its international arm, Abellio, which, at the time of recording, operated bus and rail services across Europe and beyond before its eventual management buyout in 2023. Deutsche Bahn, the German state rail operator, also provides international services from here to Frankfurt under the ICE International banner, but that's a subject for a future video. In the meantime, it's a short 8 minute wait on platform 7 for our train to Amsterdam. The frequency is typically every half hour for NS intercity services between Utrecht and the capital, which I think is pretty decent. And here comes our train, an NS Verm unit. One of the main backbones of NS intercity services, a grand total of 178 four and six car units were built by Bombardier Talbot, NS's main rolling stock supplier, in several batches between 1994 and 2009, although the first 47 units of the earlier series were built by D. Dietrich. Judging from the livery, I believe this particular unit is one of the early to mid 2000s built series. Boarding is incredibly chaotic as can be seen here, and at this moment I was honestly questioning whether I would even be able to get a seat. Let's head upstairs to the top deck of this double-decker train, as the views are typically better, even on a gloomy day such as this. My earlier concerns were proved wrong, as fortunately it didn't take me too long to find a window seat, meaning it's now time for us to take a look at our route for today. Starting from Utrecht Central, we traverse the heart of the Netherlands via the Amsterdam to Arnhem railway. This sees us head north towards the capital, the only intermediate stop being Amsterdam Amstel. We then reach our final station call of Amsterdam Central around half an hour after leaving Utrecht at 3pm Central European time. Despite the short distance, this should be a fantastic trip scratching the service on what the Dutch Railways has to offer. So sit back and enjoy the ride.
Our departure from Utrecht Central is one minute late. Although given how chaotic the boarding process was, I'm honestly surprised this wasn't later. As we leave Utrecht, we start to cross over the Demke Spoorbrug, a railway bridge carrying our Amsterdam-bound train across the Amsterdam Rhine Canal. This was constructed in 1966 to replace the older and much smaller railway bridge owing to the widening of the canal. Utrecht-bound trains used the next door Verk Spoorbrug bridge, which was opened in 2002 following the doubling of the track on the Amsterdam to Utrecht route. What are the seats on the Verm like? Very comfortable and plush for a second class offering, though the maquette was rather faded due to age. There's a small table on the facing seats. These enable the placement of small items and devices such as a mobile phone. Located beneath the table is a personal rubbish bin, though yeah, probably shouldn't have opened that. There are also coat hangers located next to each seat for the placement of coats and bags. Passenger information screens are also present on the Verms, regardless of whether they've been refurbished or not, showing information such as advertisements as well as calling points and destinations. Our view of the Amsterdam Rhine Canal is partially spoiled sadly by the soundproof barriers located along the line, though these quickly disappeared after a few minutes. Despite the gloomy weather, the canal, and of course the cycle route alongside it, provides a rather scenic backdrop as we reach the Verm's maximum service speed of 140 km per hour, though it's worth noting that the Amsterdam to Arnhem line has a maximum speed of 161 km per hour, the design speed of the Verm's. It was at this point where I was planning to do a walkthrough of the train. However, owing to the fact that it's incredibly overcrowded, I instead used the opportunity to check out the onboard toilets. Right, door locked and we can begin. Though I'm going to make this as quick as possible as Look at the condition of this toilet, it's atrociously poor. This was a consistent problem I found with NS trains on my trip to the Netherlands. This is regardless of the age. On the bright side, the soap and tap facilities seem to be working well, though I honestly can't give this toilet a great review, purely owing to its appalling condition. And the less said about the actual toilet itself, the better. Upon returning to my seat, we then call at our first and only intermediate stop on our trip, Amsterdam Amstel. Located towards the southeast of Amsterdam, as the name suggests, it is located near the Amstel River. The main purpose of the station, however, being to serve the Omval business district, as well as the Rembrandt Tower, the tallest skyscraper in the city. From here, it's only a mere seven minute stretch to reach our final destination of Amsterdam Central. <coughs> Fortunately for me, most passengers left the train here, meaning it's time for a proper walkthrough. As I mentioned previously, the Verms have a four to six car consist, though most were built as three and four car units originally, hence the addition of the V in the name, referring to extended. Our version is a six car unit. Regardless of the level, the seating layout in second class is two by two, mainly featuring table seats, though there were a few airline style seats on board in some carriages. As we walk through the lower deck of one carriage, we come across one of the first class sections on board. This features two by one seating, which is slightly more comfortable and not much else. As our Verm unit dates from the early to mid 2000s, 
This is an unrefurbished set. It's worth noting, though, that the earlier series of the Verbs have been through a refurbishment program recently, featuring new seating similar to the Kloppers and the ICRM loco hauled stock, though this also features an updated livery for the trains. Personally, I think it's great, but what do you think of it? Please do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I think that besides the shape of these trains, something I did find bizarre was the lack of luggage space, especially as the trains regularly serve Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. There was plenty of bicycle space, however, which is to be expected from a train working across the Netherlands. We're fast on the approach to Amsterdam, so I think I'm going to leave the walkthrough here. So let's head back to our seat and finish our journey. It's now time for me to wrap up. What do I think of the Worms? Internal condition aside, these are fantastic units. The ride quality is superb and the overall comfort is to be admired. However, I didn't like the size of the windows on the top deck, which I personally found to be rather small, as well as the lack of available luggage space. Additionally, I feel as though the Worms are rather cramped when they're full, which NS can hopefully fix by running more multiple workings on their busiest corridors, such as Utrecht to Amsterdam. Anyways guys, that's it from me, and welcome to Amsterdam Central. And welcome all to Amsterdam Central, the capital of the Netherlands and one of Europe's finest stations. And on that note, I really do hope you've enjoyed the video today and thanks so much for coming along with me on this ride. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a like as well as share it as that really does help the channel to grow. If you're new to the channel and want to see more content such as this, why not consider subscribing as well as enabling notifications as I now upload new videos every Friday at 5 p.m. On an additional note, if you do have any suggestions for topics you want me to cover, as well as certain trains and lines to review, please do drop me a comment, as I do read every single one. Right, it's now time for me to look around Amsterdam for a bit, before heading out to my next destination. So, until the next video, thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.